Good morning. It is Tuesday, the day after Valentine's Day at College Station, Texas. Just took a shower and get ready to do a quiet time and then breakfast. Reading Psalm 139 right now. One of my favorite verses is Verse 12, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day. The darkness is as light with you. Just really shows the, the lightness of God. You know, he's so, so good. He even lights up the darkness and he turns, he turns our darkness into light. And, and I just love that. So praise God. Alexa, what's the weather? The current weather is 45 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. I think that means shorts weather. Alrighty, well, I'm off to my first class. It's actually a lab that I peer teach for. So I work with the teaching assistant to um, help just facilitate the lab. So I'm off to that right now. I'm always like barely late to this thing. So I'm gonna rush over there and I'll see y'all there. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so now we're going to my next class and it is psychology. It is personality. So I'll meet you all there. So I just got out of class, got out of personal, so now I'm headed back home to my town home. About a five minute bike ride, so we'll see y'all there. I am making some mac and cheese because, well, A, it is really good, and B, I'm hungry. It's only 11 a.m. and I'm eating lunch at two. So, snack. 
Also, I have ran into like three of my friends today, so it's been a great day so far. Yes! So I am currently back in my room. Um, I am just uh, setting up for my seminar class, which only meets once a week, but this is online. It's an online class, which is really nice. I actually really like this class. It's like really interesting and has um, just speakers from various companies talking about computer science stuff. So I'm just setting up for this right now as I eat my mac and cheese and it's gonna be good. <laughs> I did early. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> also, I exited out of the Zoom right after he said bye. Just timing stuff like that. It's just. Mm. I just got to transform these notes into a coherent report that is 200 to 400 words. So I shall do that. Then it is off to developmental psychology. Woo. <laughs> Oof, so I just found out that my class is gonna be online and asynchronous today. So I will not be going to the really cool building that I really wanted to show y'all. That's, I'm, 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 I'm sad. It happens though, it happens. You know what, on second thought, I'm gonna go there anyways, just to show y'all. <laughs> We are done uh, studying at the ILCB. That is the building y'all just saw. Uh, had, a, had a good time there, did some research, uh, studied some technology stuff for a project that I'm doing. And now I'm heading to lunch with my friends. So I'm excited. I just got out of lunch. I'm now riding my bike again. Head into office hours for two hours. It's yet another bike ride across campus. So see y'all there. Right, so we are done with office hours. Helped about five to 10 students, around like six students on various different classes. And the last student I helped, it was really fun. It was like solving a puzzle. So that's why I love Comsa. All right, so now I'm gonna go back home and going to basically uh, work out. That's the next thing. See y'all there. Gym time, get them gains. So now I'm going to take a jog outside. Uh, sometimes I jog inside on the treadmill, other times I jog outside. It's really good weather, so I'm gonna do this. Let's go. That was the most intense workout. I need a break. Yo, so it has been about an hour since I worked out. I am way, way more well rested now. That was a really good workout. Honestly, after working out, best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. Um, so yeah, I'm just chilling in my room. Just uh, 
taking it easy, not really working that much. Um, and yeah, I'm about to go make dinner, so yeah. We got the pasta with Alfredo sauce. We got that chicken and then we got the spinach health. Yo, so I have been just laying in my bed talking to myself for the last, you know, hour or so. And honestly, I love doing this sometimes. Like I love just like laying here and letting my thoughts roam free and just talking to myself. It's honestly such a like really good way to like become better, you know, like to become a better person. And uh, I feel like I just nowadays I do not do this enough. But like earlier in my college career, I did this. I did this so much. And uh, I just like, yeah, just figured th some things out on how I could be a better person, man. One of them was uh, just like being more courteous at stop signs when I'm riding my bike. So just stopping more often. Uh, if the moment calls for it, like letting the car go and, you know, cause it's a stop sign. I can't just zoom through it. If a car is waiting, like I'm going to let the car go. Right. So I just noticed that as I've ridden my bike today. And then also just like, I guess like not being as rude, I guess when I'm riding my bike, just like being more aware of the people around me, you know, and like being more careful. Cause I almost hit someone today. That was not good. <laughs> And then there's also, um, uh, just like academically, I've noticed some things. I reminded myself today during office hours about a conversation me and my roommate had, I think like yesterday or two days ago. But we were just talking about like how the people that come into office hours are generally like the 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 bottom like ten percent of their of their class or something like that. Like they 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 really need help, and some they oftentimes need help on the really simple concepts. Um, so like I had that aware, I had that conversation in the back of my head during office hours today and it really helped me help the students better. It really helped me, me be more patient. It was actually more enjoyable too, helping them, especially the last guy, like, like walking through the code with him and just like, it's easier to like help them the proper way uh, and to not get so angry or impatient as, as fast. So that was really nice. Um, uh, and I think, um, yeah, just, yeah. Another thing is, uh, like socially, um, I can, I can do better, especially when I'm eating food with other people. Um, I think when I'm eating food with other people, I can kind of not focus as much on my food and like eating my food, but I can, uh, really like focus on the person in front of me. Um, because I noticed at lunch today, it was the food was really, really delicious, but like I wasn't, I was eating way faster than my friend and I think I can match their pace a little bit more and like be on their level and just kind of focus on the person in front of me more than on like selfishly like my own food. So there's that. And then um, I also like, I just prayed today, like after my workout and I just like thanked God for who he is and honestly that he has gotten my life together honestly throughout this last few years and just reminding myself of that like i cried bro i freaking cried so i realized that dang i need to pray more i need to voluntarily pray more during the day because that genuinely fills me up that really helps and then um just the last thing uh, that i noticed today is just looking on people with love more honestly like looking at people and treating people the way that jesus would treat people which is basically realizing that they are a person who has genuine needs and wants and just like having an awe having this type of awe and respect for the other person in a way that sees like their true self and respects that and and just that allows me to like love people more so just like having that kind of outlook so yeah it was a really good discussion with myself. I love doing these. <laughs> so yes, it is now about eight o'clock. And usually at this time, I'm grinding homework. Usually uh, my project class, my capstone class. Um, so just uh, looking into things, doing the homework, but I actually finished the homework that's due tomorrow, yesterday. So I don't really have much to do, but I plan on probably just 
maybe studying psychology a little bit or um, reading my book. I have um, a couple books here that I'm still working on, so probably do that. And then around 10 o'clock, I shut things down. I don't go on my my laptop and I just call it a night. So that's what I'll probably do the next couple hours. Well, it's 10.52, it's late, I'm gonna go to bed. So I spent the last couple hours just talking to my roommate. Really, really fun time. And I uh, finished reading a chapter for a book that I'm reading. And now it's it lights out, it's time to go to bed. Thanks for watching this. If you got through this far, you are awesome. And have a great day.